Hi loves, it's Shaba. Welcome back to another Tuesday, another week, another video. Today, I'm gonna share an important secret with you. It is the secret to happiness and not just general happiness. That would be such, such a valuable secret for such a difficult thing to define. It is how to be happy in a specific context and that is when other people are trying to make you upset. We've all been there. I'm sure like me, you've had people say things to you with the sole intent of insulting you of making you feel bad. And it used to really affect me. I would get really sad. Part of the reason for that is because I didn't truly know who I was. And the other reason for that is because I was tying my self-worth to what other people thought of me. Two, two things that were just not a great combination. But 99% of the time now, I don't do that. And it's because I follow the secret of the purple broccoli. Now, before you go Googling, what is the concept of the purple broccoli? It's not a real thing. It's something that I have created, that I have made up. My friend yesterday, when I was explaining to her, she was just like, yeah, I was gonna Google that. Don't, don't do that, don't do that. You won't find anything. But I promise you this works. It is a process that works. It's not foolproof. There are gray areas and there are certainly times where I forget to implement the secret of the purple broccoli. Perhaps I'm having a really bad day for other reasons. Perhaps I'm just feeling really overwhelmed. But like with all skills of self-development, sometimes we just forget to use them. But most of the time it really helps me out. So let me demonstrate. Think of an insult, any insult that you could possibly throw my way. I've had a fair few in my day. I'll try and keep them PG, but you know, you're a butthole. You'll never amount to anything. You're fat. You're a lesbian. You have a big nose. Now, some of these things are not bad things to be called, but people have meant it as one. And here is my secret to not letting those people get to me. In order to carry it out, you're gonna need two skills. Number one is the skill of deducing the truth. And the second thing is a little bit harder to reach. It's, it's easier said than done, but it's true self-acceptance. People are not perfect. I am certainly not perfect. I speak over others, I'm impatient, I'm messy, I'm bossy. I'm very stubborn. I know these qualities about me and I accept them. Am I saying that they're the most amazing things that a person can be? Am I running around going, yay, it's so great that I'm so stubborn. Woohoo, look at me being so messy. No, I'm not glorifying these traits. I'm not saying that I will never try and change my ways, but all I can do is try my best to improve and ensure that my flaws are not negatively affecting those around me in ways that I can change. What I'm not gonna do is beat myself up for not being a perfect human because there's no such thing. Does that make sense? True self-acceptance and true understanding of who you are is very important. So if somebody says something to you with the intention to hurt you, the first thing you do the process of the purple broccoli, is to implement skill one, deduction. Deduce if it is true. Say somebody said to me, you're a purple broccoli. I deduce that I am not, in fact, a purple broccoli. And because I am clearly not the thing that somebody is trying to say that I am, it doesn't hurt me. Why would that hurt me? It just makes me confused. I'm like, are you okay? <laughs> like, why, why would anyone call you a purple broccoli? That's, that's just weird. There is absolutely no good reason for somebody to try and insult you by calling you something that you are not, by saying something that is untrue. And if they're doing that, they're doing that because they are in a bad place and they're trying to lash out and they're doing it in a very rational way because they're not able in that moment to control their emotions. And you know what? That sounds like a them problem. That's not a you problem. That's not a me problem. I know I'm not a purple broccoli. And so that doesn't affect me in the slightest. It doesn't hurt me in any way. And that is the end of that part of the flow chart. Is it true? Is it not? No, it's not true. Not a purple broccoli. Ba-doom. Ba-doom. <laughs> Ba-da-boom. Now, what if with your skill of amazing deduction, because you're like the best internal detective, you deduce that actually the accusation is true. It goes down the other side of the flowchart. If that is the case, you use skill two of true self-acceptance and you accept it. So simple, I <laughs> know. Let me demonstrate. Here are some things in the past that used to really hurt me. There's one specific person who used to tell me many words that in essence meant you were a right cow when you were younger. You were a nasty, horrible child. You're really difficult and you acted in this one specific way. And do you know what? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I actually, I look back and I don't like my past self. As a child, there are aspects of me that I really hated. But through the lens of self-acceptance, I now understand why I was the way that I was, why I acted in this one specific way that that person was saying. I was going through some rough stuff and I didn't know how to handle it. And the way that I managed that was to create a bubbly, sharper, perfect world. And that frustrated people sometimes. But guess what? I'm not that way anymore. I don't have to 
do that because I'm a stronger person now than I was then. I love how I've grown. I love who I am today. But you're saying that accusation, that remark, because you're trying to hurt me. And it's not gonna work because I embrace my past. And you know what? I agree with you. I accept past Shaba in her very flawed ways. I give her a metaphorical pat on the head and I toot her along knowing that she's gonna go off to months of therapy <laughs> and a great support network and find a way to find self-acceptance. And because of that, comments like that or accusations that are thrown at me to do with any aspect of myself really, just don't affect me. They don't hurt me because either I know they're not true, they're a purple broccoli, or if they are true, I can embrace it and accept that about myself and laugh at it, approach it with a bit of humility. Take another example that's not to do with the past. If someone turned around to me now, even someone I love, and went, you are so friggin' stubborn, or you're being such a butthole right now, why are you being such a butthole? If I deduce that it is true, that I am being really stubborn in the moment or that I am being a real asshole, instead of getting really hurt and therefore getting really defensive about it and turning it into this huge argument, just taking a step back to be like, hmm, you know what, I am. <laughs> and either I am and you know what, I'm wrong for being this way. And actually the more I think about it is because I'm hungry and I haven't eaten yet. Or I've had a really stressful day and I'd like to talk to you about it. And yep, it's wrong for me to have taken it out on you in this way. Let's work through this. Or maybe it's something that I don't wanna change. Maybe I am being stubborn, but I really am very strong about my point of view and I believe it's what's right. I can be like, yep, yeah, I am stubborn and I accept that about me, but I love me and I love the decisions that I'm making. And so this doesn't affect me in that way. I'm sorry, you're not hurting me. Self-acceptance goes a really long way. It's wild how simple it is on paper, how simple it sounds. And it's so easy to forget. And it's so difficult to even achieve in the first place. But if you are able to just get to that place where you can truly self-reflect look at what you're doing and realize that every for every action, there is a reason for that action. For every way that somebody acts, there is a reason that they're acting that way. And most of the time, it's not because they're just a natural innate asshole. If that was the case, you probably wouldn't have these people in your life, right? They would be so toxic, you would have cut them out. But if you truly can get to a place where you can recognize yourself the good and the bad, and just process your feelings instead of putting up a defensive wall from being hurt. It's such a good place to be. It feels, it feels so zen. <laughs> That's what Jamie says. It's like, Jesus, how can you be so calm about this? I truly just believe it's because I've just found a place of self-love. Also wanna point out that this purple broccoli process is significantly less uh, easy to implement if what is being said is a slur. Because if an accusation is like socially or historically loaded, there could be a scenario in which it still hurts because it may be true, but it's presented in a way that's like really weaponized, right? The best way to deal with those is to just try and put yourself in the perspective of the person saying it and to be like, you know what? You're clearly going through a really rough time. You're having a bad day and I'm amazing. I'm so happy with my identity and who I am. So your negativity is just not gonna affect me in that way, but all the best. I know we can't implement that all the time. Sometimes you won't be able to regulate your emotions that well and that's okay, but it's an important skill to recognize. And it's a level of self-love that we should all really strive to try and achieve. So whatever someone says about you or thinks about you, just let them. Any insult that they can throw your way is a purple broccoli accusation. And if you are in fact not a purple broccoli, then what they're saying is just ludicrous. Like seriously, if someone actually called you a purple broccoli, you wouldn't believe them. You wouldn't take that to heart and you wouldn't feel offended. And I know that the term purple broccoli is so abstract, but if we were to apply that to other situations, if someone is calling you stupid and you know you're not stupid, there is no difference between them calling you stupid and calling you a purple broccoli because you know, you know it's not true. And if it's not true, don't let it affect you because there's nothing that you can work on. It's not productive. You're just being weird, <laughs> you know? And if someone hurls a purple broccoli accusation your way and you do happen to be a purple broccoli, we are accepting of all identities here. <laughs> but seriously, if someone, if someone is accusing you of something that maybe contains an element of truth, it will feel like it hurts more because there's probably a side of you that there will be a side of you that will agree with it. But when you get to a place where you can go, 
yeah, you know what? I actually am like that. Thanks for letting me know, my bad. You could have presented that in a nicer way, but I'll do better next time. Or if you're like, yeah, I am that way. And you know what? It's not something that I'm willing to change. So if you want to still be in my life, you want to still have this presence, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Either way, if the accusation is true, when you can get to a place where you can embrace that that is who you are, using that to just affirm that you are an amazing person that is just trying to do your best, then, you'll be in such a zen place. <laughs> and also note that regardless of the situation, if anyone is hurling an insult your way, it is not for you to carry the responsibility of their burden. It doesn't give them an excuse to insult you or harm you in any way. That is not good behavior. You deserve more than that. And that's another reason why you should not let it affect you. I'm saying this as if you have a choice, but this is the way that I think of things in my mind to then sort of like process, hang on a second, am I, am I gonna let myself continue to have this grudge? Am I gonna let myself continue to feel down about this? So there you go, that is my secret. I hope it was in some way helpful. And as hard as self-love and self-acceptance can be, if you can take one thing away from this video, it's the ability to recognize a purple broccoli accusation when it comes your way. If you can just deduce the insults that are simply not true, it sounds so simple, but it's really something that we constantly just forget to do as people. Like if you're an LGBT plus person and someone is telling you that you are fake, that you are not valid, that your identity is not real, or whoever you are, if you're being told that you are a liar or you are stupid and you are not, then realizing that they are not real and therefore realizing that there is no power in what someone is saying and using that to be able to just flick them away like an annoying bogey. That's powerful. I really hope that that's an easier step that you can begin to start using all the time because you wouldn't get insulted if someone just randomly turned around and called you a purple broccoli. So why get insulted when someone's saying something else that is also very false? They are not worth it. You are more than worth it. Now go and unleash your happiness on the world. <laughs> all right, my loves, that is it for today's video. A little bit of a life coach moment right there. It's just something that I felt like I wanted to talk about. No purple broccolis were harmed in the making of this video. And I will see you next week, Tuesday at 7 p.m. Be kind and have a great day. Bye.